Hey, uh, let's bring in Beetlejuice. He has a big announcement to make, and then we'll play the game with uh, Mike Walker. That's always fun. Uh, Beetlejuice, everybody. <laughs> Beetlejuice is our star. I should use him as a phone a friend. Yeah, that would be Beetle funny. That would be great. Fred. Beetle was out there smacking Dixie Cup's ass right on the ass. He wants to win a trip to the Bunny Ranch now, I heard. Beetlejuice is dressed in full camouflage, by Why the way. Why is that? Is he going to war? Well, it might have something to do with his announcement. Oh. How are you, Beat? I'm doing pretty good. Good to see you, my friend. Yeah. You are a big star, but you always make the rounds and stop by here. Yeah. That is the look. He has long socks and the, and the Bermuda shorts. Yeah. 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 You look <laughs> good. Just hanging out, that's all. Can yeah. I ask you a question? Who dresses you? I dress myself. You do? Do you pick out your own clothing? Yeah. Where, Where do, you... do you shop? Huh? Where do you shop? Where do I shop? Mm hmm. Where do you at buy? Least, at least I go shopping once in a year. Yeah. But once where, a year, what stores do you go to? Huh? Do you like the Sean's online or a, or a Fat Farm? Oh, I go to different places. Yeah. But what's your favorite store? Beetle Gap. Nah, it's all stores. It's all different stores. And Beetle, I know you have a big announcement to make, but I figure we play the game first, and then you can make your big announcement, okay? How yeah. you, you know, let's play the game. Let's get do Mike you know Walker this on. Game? Yeah, he's played before. I've played before. He won once. Yeah. Oh, yeah. and mommy, I, I anyway, I gotta go. I'm gonna go to the Bunny Ranch tonight. Yeah, you gonna go to the Bunny Ranch? Yep. You like Dixie Cups? Yep. Do you That's know right. where the Bunny Ranch is? Yeah, where I've been it? there twice. Where is it? Somewhere in Newark. In who? In Newark. <laughs> In Newark. Newark. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there's one there. The Newark Bunny Ranch. <laughs> I've been there. The Newark Bunny Ranch. <laughs> you like that girl, huh, man? She was kind of... Oh, yeah, she was hot. She was good looking for a whore. Oh, yeah. yeah. I just love to blow her. Well, right. <laughs> blow her away. You might have trouble blowing her. I ain't had no trouble. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. All right, easy. You can't say the F word, though. You can't say the F word. Clear that up. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> you know, you're not going to be able to be my lifeline if you're going to talk like that. <laughs> oh, I'm so. <laughs> well, let's go to Mike Walker. Let's hear what he's got to say, Beat, and then we can certainly hear your big announcement. Everyone yeah. would love to hear it. Everyone's a fan. Mike. Howard. How are you, sir? I'm doing fine. How are you? Mike Walker is at nationalinquirer.com and can even play this game on his website. Yeah. Yeah. Mike, what's your expertise? Do you know a lot of stuff in any particular category? A lot of stuff in any particular well, Robin's category. Going, Robin's yeah, going. for lifelines for... Uh... Robin's going on Celebrity Millionaire. Oh, I see. And uh, she needs lifelines. Fred didn't pan out to be that great. No, I'm looking for other lifelines. Really? Fred let me down. I would use Fred. Yeah. Well, use Fred, is, Fred is pretty good. I mean, I have the kind of, I don't know, you know, I, I kind of if they know ask a lot you, of things about a lot of things. He knows a lot of gossip and if stuff. He, if they ask O.J. questions, right. I know I could call him. O.J. Oh, right. or Gary Condit, or if they ask Heidi Fly's questions. <laughs> exactly. Or or if they ask questions about the Hawaiian Tropic Beauty Contest. Hawaiian Patrick. Tropic Beauty Contest. He's a judge. Hey, by the way, Howard, did you guys get the product that they sent to you? I did. Because you remember you were talking about the girl and the you know the skin thing, and so they sent this stuff up to you. But uh, I am uh, hereby authorized to invite you and and Robin. I don't see why you couldn't come either. Uh, she's a girl. I, <laughs> I just wouldn't enjoy it. I don't. <laughs> Howard, I'm just throwing it in. You know? Right. Okay. September 27th to the 30th. Right. It's at the Mandalay Bay Resort and Casino. Where's that? Fantastic place, right? Vegas. Right. Nice. Vegas. When is this? It would be nice. You bring your girlfriend. Oh, sure. What, what well, day is this? I'm just saying that. Okay? What day is this? I don't mean that. What, when, you bring your, when you, bring, when you bring your wife, I'll bring my girlfriend. <laughs> what? When you bring your wife, I'll bring my girlfriend. All right. I won't bring the wife. You don't bring the girlfriend. Yeah, it's a man's night out. Yes, exactly. I'm just saying that, Howard. Okay? Right. I'm just covering us here. <laughs> Mike Walker, if, if Regis asks you a question yeah. about being away from your wife and how to get away from her, right. Mike Walker's an expert. You say, call uh, Mike Walker. He knows. I am actually I am actually in Florida today. With your wife. I am with my lovely wife. Uh, we're on our, our lovely little uh, estate here and mm. looking out at her horses. She's very happy. She has her horses. She's, she's happy. like a princess. And right. when was the last time you were home? Uh, before this. Uh, let me think for a second. Um, it was uh, December. Whoa! Whoa! Well, December. what what makes you decide to go home? <laughs> like, why do Christmas you go? Christmas makes him decide. To well, you know, I, I mean, heard she had to. She, you walked in. She called the cops. She thought someone was robbing the house. <laughs> wow, Mike! Christmas. Yeah. 
What well, because, she... look, there's a lot of, you know, I work, I have the TV show, I have, you know, there are things to do, and she understands Boy, that. there's something up there, but I tell you... No, 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 no. Howard, I've said this before, I'm a man in my own house, she expects me to provide, to do things, you know, and it's like the Miss Hawaiian Tropic contest. I mean, I've said to you over and over again... Who's having sex with her while you're gone? My, who, I, I, I assume nobody, Howard. And why, if you're home, why are you on a cell phone? Is he married to an American? On... Oh. What are you married to? A Filipino? No, my wife is Japanese. Ah, oh, they're good. What do you mean, uh, Beetlejuice, ever have a Japanese? <laughs> Never have. Well, Never. Howard, I just think that I've traveled. I traveled an awful lot as a young journalist, both to Europe. I worked in Europe, and I'd worked in. I was space stationed in Tokyo for years. You calling yourself a young journalist? And uh, no, I say when I was. I, I'm just kidding. Can she speak English, your wife? Yeah, yeah. I'd never uh -huh. taught her. Mm. <laughs> never bothered. How do you get those bindings off her feet? <laughs> that's Chinese, Howard. I got to meet the woman that says, Mike, you leave for six months and then come home. Whenever you want. I, I just don't understand your amazement at this. It's oh, come on. Of, you do, too. management and, and, and doing things. If I didn't have I things to do, would I would be, be here. I when spent years at home, Howard. I spent years here. All right, so when you were first married, you spent years at home. Yeah. And then at what when point did you... When my kids were growing up, I, I spent years. I, I was very, you know, close with the kids. We went out. My kids always said... You were always around when we were growing up. And then what did you, you and your wife just said, look, instead of getting divorced or anything, we'll no, just... No! My job changed, Howard. Yeah. Your job, your job, I know your I, job. I, you I mean, write the job, you I work at the home. same company, but it, it involved more travel, more, you know, appearances and so forth. When you're a columnist, I mean, things... But, Mike, you haven't been home since December. Yeah. But I call... Do you miss your wife? Do you miss her when you're away? Sure, of course I do. And what do you do for sex when you're away for six months? I just, uh... I mean, you want to know specifically? Yeah. yeah. Yes. <laughs> well, Why don't you be honest? Let's see. Um, I masturbate. Yeah. And that's about it. Do you have oh phone God. sex with your wife? Uh, that has happened. <laughs> I don't believe any of this. What? Uh, you know what? Never mind Gary Condi. Get, right, him, off of cover. All, Get him off the cover of the inquirer and put all you on. about Mike. <laughs> yeah. First of all, right? Can you imagine, okay, how many people would like to find me doing something? <laughs> of course. Right? And I don't think they're going to have to look far. <laughs> oh, please. Come on, dude. Oh, please. You're up to something. Look, I'm very open. I'm saying go, Miss Hawaiian Tropic Contest, right? So you're going to do that's a, a perfect place. You can tell your girlfriend that it's a perfect place to go. Everything's right out in the open. Uh, nothing's going to happen. But you're going to be in proximity. You know, it's going to be a, like your show. There are a lot of beautiful girls who will... You know, show you their charms and so forth. Beetlejuice just fell asleep, uh, Mike. No, he doesn't believe this. Guy. Hey, hey, Mike. Even Beetlejuice doesn't believe you. You don't believe this guy, do you? I don't believe it. You don't believe it. All right. All right. You know, I'm just see. remembering Beetlejuice did win the game once. Yes, That's he did. True. Let's play the game, Mike. Everyone's saying yeah. there's four four uh, stories from your column in the National Enquirer. Right. One of them will be false. Beetlejuice, listen carefully. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Item number one. I call this one bun fun. Bun fun. Bun fun. Sex in the City starred Sarah Jessica Parker has a dressing room trailer plastered with photos of bare male butts, and female cast and crew members often contribute to her collection with fetching photos of behinds that they've spotted in magazines, etc. Now, oddly enough, Sarah Jessica's actor, hubby Matthew Broderick's buns, aren't included, probably because he's never dropped his drawers in a flick, but couldn't she take a Polaroid? Hey, I'll tell you something. I watched the last episode of Sex in the City, and Sarah Jessica Parker vomiting, showing the vomit, was oh, unnecessary. That, uh, that, that shocked, that stopped me cold. That was unnecessary. That really was. I didn't think you had to show it. I don't know why they right. showed it. It wasn't I necessary. I thought. Yes, was not necessary. You like your vomit acted. Well, it was, it was <laughs> gratuitous. It was gratuitous. It's like nudity. I'm sure you agree, Howard. We don't like nudity that's gratuitous, do we? Yes. <laughs> I just don't like gratuitous vomit. No gratuitous but not gratuitous vomit. vomit. Right. right. Uh, number two story. Number two. I like the reality. I call this a lower shower. Katie Couric bought a whopping $4,000 worth of baby clothes and toys for new arrival Jack Lauer, son of today co-star Matt and his wife. And Matt's more than grateful. He's guilt-ridden. Pal say Katie's so into the baby that Matt's made her an honorary godmother, but now he's lamenting I've never bought Katie's kids anything. Number three. Number three, one for the guys. The weirdest thing about me is that I like to walk around naked, says Jennifer Bubble Butt Lopez. I grew up walking around naked in my house. My mom was like that and my sisters. And today, she says, I'll be sitting at the breakfast table and everyone's dressed except me. All the people around me are either girls or they're gay, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, and plus, for a girl to walk around naked is no big deal. They don't have to worry about their penis size. Yeah. 
that's our problem. I would walk around much yeah. more naked if I... Uh, Very, uh, swing, you know, yeah, gets, really gets in the way. Number four, go ahead. What a drag on. Sharon Stone struck out in the gift-giving department again. You will recall that for her birthday surprise, for news guy hubby Phil Bronstein, she gave him a visit to the cute Komodo dragon that chomped his toe. Well, fun-loving Sharon's been giving Phil lizard gifts ever since. Rubber lizards, wind-up lizards, lizard-themed greeting cards, etc. Phil, who was briefly amused, finally freaked and shrieked Sharon, lose the lizards. He's an odd-looking guy, but I'll tell you, she's lost a lot of her looks. I don't know why you guys still cover her. She's not a big star anymore, but okay, here we go. All right. Four stories. First story Mike Walker gave us, Sarah, listen to this, Beetlejuice. Sarah Jessica Parker keeps naked butts on the wall. Okay. Pictures. Number two, um, Katie Couric bought $4,000 worth of clothes from Matt Lauer. He's never bought her kids anything. Number three, Jennifer Lopez. Puts that fat ass of hers on that chair. And I don't care how many guys tell me they think that's hot. I don't, man. That ass. I agree those with chairs got to smell like ass. Really? You don't like that either, huh, Jen? No. No, it's too big. It, it, right? Yeah. Right, B? It, her it, her uh, chairs must don't smell think she's that, <laughs> that hot. Look yeah, Do you like Jennifer Lopez, bitches? <laughs> oh, I had her once. You had her. Yeah. Oh. And her ass must smell, though, from all that big ass. The chairs must smell from the ass, right? Everything in that house must smell like ass. <laughs> You smell ass, you smell ass. Yeah, big it's deal. It's all right, huh? It's all right. Uh, uh, all right. Okay. And the fourth story was... <laughs> had a bleep uh, beat. Fourth story was Sharon Stone. Uh, she gives a lot of lizard gifts to her husband because of the lizard in the toe eating incident. Okay. What do you think wow. is the fake story? Well, uh, I think it's all fake. You do? Uh, thank I, you for he saying that. He swears that, that wow. only one of them is fake. Yeah. Yeah. So which one will you choose? Well, I choose but it's all fake. All of them. One, two, three, or four. Which one do you well, choose? Well, it could be four. 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 All right. You think Sharon Stone does not give lizard gifts that she's not that insensitive? Nah. Okay. Okay. Beetlejuice said Sharon Stone. Okay. <laughs> all right. Even though he thinks they're all fake. Right. I'm with, I think, I'm with Beetlejuice. I think that's Beetlejuice's commentary on society. <laughs> but, uh, but I, I'm with you on that. Baby. It's all fake. It's all unreal. It's all Hollywood. <laughs> Hollywood. Robin, go ahead. What's your guess? Geez, this is a tough week. Because, you know, everything's feasible here. But I don't think that Jennifer Lopez came from a family that walked around naked. You don't? No. So I'm saying it's number three. Sorry, Beetlejuice. What do you say, Artie? I would agree with that. I don't, she goes through all this crap at award shows to look exactly right. and the Because the to make that ass look okay, you got to put the proper <laughs> clothes on. I don't think she's walking around naked. <laughs> I really don't. I don't believe that Katie Couric bought $4,000 worth of gifts for Matt Lauer. And I don't believe he never bought a gift for one of her kids. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I don't buy it. I, I think that he probably hasn't bought a gift because she hasn't had a baby recently. But uh, I think he's that insensitive. <laughs> I think the four thousand. You guys don't know to buy gifts. Four thousand dollars, though, Katie Kirk. It just seems excessive, and he's a wealthy She's guy. She's had too much money. Yeah, uh, Fred. What do you say? I want to believe that Sharon Stone is fake because it sounds so over the top. But I'm going with number one, Sarah Jessica Parker. You don't believe that? Why? The, the bun picture thing. She seems, like, too modest for that. Okay. She won't even show herself naked on the show. Fred says it's bun fun is false. Howard says uh, Katie Couric. Um, uh, Beetlejuice says uh, it's Sharon Stone. Uh, Fred wanting to agree with Beetlejuice, but not. <laughs> Artie and Robin say Jennifer Lopez naked. Well, it's interesting. Uh, there was a little more detail to that uh, story, uh, which she actually said in an interview, and she said, one of the things is, you know, you're walking around naked all, all the time. She said her father worked days. So, you know, it was just oh. females in the house, so there's no problem. So that one is true. You didn't throw that in. Uh, no, I didn't put that in. <laughs> that would make it sound too real. Uh, <laughs> Jennifer Lopez, then, uh, you guys are wrong on that. And, uh, yeah, the Sharon Stone totally sounds like a phony item, but it's absolutely true. Uh oh Sorry, Beetle. Yes. And uh, Howard... Uh, no, uh, Katie Cork, true. She bought all the stuff for Matt Lauer. And so Matt Fred's right. Scott. Fred wow. is yeah. the one. Fred, this Fred is the one. I'm still stupid. Right? But Sarah Jessica Parker wow. does not yeah. take. Fred all right, Mike, you got us. Yeah. And, and Fred uh, doesn't count anyway. So, <laughs> so <laughs> listen, are, you, are you coming uh, to the... Uh, no, I probably will pass on that, although I probably should... Uh, let me talk to you off the air. Let us know the 7th to 30th is a perfect time. Mandalay no. Bay Resort and Casino. I would like to go there and gamble. Well, wh why not? 
Mike Walker, check him out. Still treat you right. Play the Mike Walker game at NationalEnquirer.com. He's the great Mike Walker. And, of course, read his column in the National Enquirer. Thanks, Mike. Thanks, guys. All right. The great Bye. Mike Walker, Bye, Mike. everybody. Beetlejuice, you didn't win this time. No. No, I thought you had it. I thought you had it. I do. I had it. Yeah. You were close. It was a good guess. Yeah. <laughs> Unbelievable. Drunken Jamie, you're on the air. <laughs> hey, what's up, Beetlejuice? Hey, what's up, Jamie? What's up, bro? What's up, man? I'm down the shore. I wish I was there, man. I'm what's sorry. What's going on? No, no, I'm just chilling, chilling out over here. Yeah? I wanted to ask Howard a question. Howard? Yes, Drunken Jamie. <laughs> uh, you know what? I was curious because I found out from a good source that, you know, Mini-Me, you know, that Troy Irv guy from Western Powers? Yes. For Men in Black, he's getting $5.5 million. Wow. Really? Isn't that insane? That's a lot of dough, How yeah. How much does Beetle get? That's what I'm saying. I'm saying for, for, for Beetlejuice's third picture, what do you think he deserves? Let me ask you something. What did uh, Beetlejuice get for Scary Movie? For scary movie, he, he got like very little amount of money. Well, actually. what about Bubble Boy, the movie that's opening up? I think that was that, that was actually his, his first movie. He got a what, fifty grand or something like that. I'm sure he knows the more specific. Beetle, I'm shocked. Only fifty G's and Mini Me gets five and a half million. Uh, how do you explain this? Well. Must have had it, so they gave it up. Yeah. So he had gave it up. So. Will you be demanding more for your third film? Yeah. You will. Hell yeah! Right. Pete? I'm already thinking right now. You are. What are you thinking about? Me? Yeah. The Bunny Ranch. Bunny Ranch, right? <laughs> so let me ask you something, Beetle. And, and I don't mean to bring this up, and you tell me. But I'm thinking, Minnie Me is a white guy. You're a black man. Is it racial? Right. You do think so? Uh, I don't think so, but could be. Could be. <laughs> could be that he got five and a half million. You're getting 50000 because you're a black man. That's right. Right. <laughs> Drunk what's Jamie, funny about that? What's Drunk funny about that? I don't know. I, oh, I think you're you right. Tell, I think it's funny. I mean, that, you know, America's pretty screwed up if that's the case. You know what I mean? That's insane. Beetle, I think you deserve $7 million for your next picture, and I swear to God on my mother and wife, no cross count, that, that, that I'm being sincere about. Well, Sean is negotiating you, these bro. contracts, isn't he? I hear you, Jamie. I hear you, bro. Yeah, well, Sean, Sean, you know, Sean will take care of all that stuff. Right. So, you well, you should have been here, too. Hey, can you? Hey, 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 what time's the show tonight, Beetle? Because I gotta make, I gotta get on a train to get back to Newark. All right, you gotta take Sal first. All right, all right, I'll call him later. <laughs> all right, thank yeah, you. Yeah, call Jim. me back like 15 minutes. We'll be in the car. All right, I love you, bro. All right, later, have a nice you, weekend, Howard. buddy. Ciao, ciao. Ciao, 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 ciao. Ciao, ciao. Is that what we say? Beetle, how's the stem cell research going, by the way? Oh, it's going pretty well. Yeah. Uh, when will you have a cure? Well, ain't no kills, bro. Right. No, I mean, seriously. What, you mean stem cells don't work? <laughs> what? Is that what you're stem saying? Stem cells don't work? Well, well, sir. It does work? What? The stem cells. Oh, uh, it could be, yeah. Yeah. You still looking into it? Well, I'm thinking. You're thinking? <laughs> yeah, but I'm, I'm, hey, right, Beetle, Beetle I'm writing now, so, you yeah. know. Beetle is I'm a stem cell. <laughs> it's going to be all righty, though, but it's going to work, though. Think George W. Bush made the right decision? Uh, I don't think so. Right. How many years before we have uh... a cure? Well, they probably have a cure about like 250 weeks. Oh, yeah. 250, 250 weeks. weeks? How many years is that? Happening? On the phone? Probably I don't know. Like five years. Five, five years. years. 250 <laughs> weeks is five years? I think he's right. I think it is. <laughs> hey, uh, right. cranberry juice is on. Beatles' gay cousin. <laughs> cranberry juice. Hi. Hi. And you are Beatles' gay cousin? Beetle, can you take your mangled teeth and wrap them around my grease gun? <clears throat> Is this truly your cousin? You got a cousin named Cranberry Juice? Hell no. <laughs> Why do you think Beetle's head is so brown? Where do you think I put it every night? Mm -mm. Yeah, you better be careful. Beetle will get mad. I'll mess him up. I'll mess him up with my little love gun. Ain't, Ain't no right, love Beetle? gun head, buddy. You better chill out. Right. You know what you want, Beetle. You, you better chill me. out, buddy. I'm not your buddy. I'm your butt buddy, little Beetle. Uh, you little Beetle shut freak. Up. Yeah, this Go guy. Go take a hike. Yeah, take a hike. I'll swatch you with my attitude, you uh, little I'll luck dog. Go play with it. I think he's done that. <laughs> he's done. Get out of here. Get out of here. I'll smack those teeth right out of your uh, lips from the back end. <laughs> oh. Tell him, Beetle. Beetle, I don't even need to put you on your uh, knees, honey go bunny. Go play with yourself. Get out of here. Go, go take a hike. I'm going to take a hike all over you. you I'm going to group you up like a Carvel ice cream else. cake. <laughs> all right. Thank you, cranberry juice. You know, I'm going to turn you into an Oreo cookie inside out. Get all the white over the brown. Yeah. All right. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> no F word, Beetlejuice. 
No, I'm just saying he's weird. <laughs> <laughs> right. He's weird. Wow. All right. Hey, I'll oh. tell you what. <laughs> uh, let Frank have the last word. We've got to take a break. Go ahead, Frank. Yeah, I would. Uh, Robert should take Beetlejuice to read you. That's what Millionaire. Said, man. You'd be great on that show. Yeah. So I could give her another tip, too, because my wife was on there. Yeah. Oh, Robin, wait a second. That's too good a tip to pass by. Robin, <laughs> Beetlejuice sits in your in chair. In the audience. Oh, please. Will you? Yeah. Mm. Hey, Robin, who have you brought with you? This is my friend Beetlejuice. Would you be on the show Millionaire with Robin? Sure, I will. Good. To be her date? That's right. Oh, you have to do that. Oh, you have to. <laughs> I'm not taking no for an answer. Oh. You no. gotta take Beetlejuice. It's a requirement. You could say Beetlejuice. This is my friend Beetlejuice. Yeah, I brought my friend Beetlejuice. I love that. Mm, that's great. Now you gotta do it. Come on, you oh. can't just go on there and. You gotta do this. <laughs> and by the way, Beetle, you cannot curse on Millionaire. All right. All right. And if I win a million, Beetle. Uh huh. I don't know what'll happen. <laughs> Take you to dinner. Take you to dinner as long as you're going to have sex for a long time. Uh oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you can sex it. Because nice. Regis has to interview Beetle then, too. Because he always says, Oh, you're a friend of Robin's. Right. How do you know each other? Beetle, how are you? How do you know me, Beetle? And let's rehearse. I'll be Regis. <laughs> you're our millionaire. So, Beetle, uh, how do you know Robin? Oh, I've been known for years. Right. Right. Would you point choir? out Robin in this? What, what was that, Beetle? I said he's probably in the choir. Right. And uh, how, uh, what do you think her chances are winning the million dollars? Well, she has a chance. Good. <laughs> he's perfect. That's it. Could he point out Robin in this room right now? <laughs> if I want to point out Robin, she's right there. Oh, right on. There you go, Beetle. You're human. And well, 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 Robin tells me that uh, you're doing a porno where you stick your whole head somewhere. Is that right? It could be, yeah. Yeah. Wow, wow, wow. I don't know. It might be, but it won't happen. Right. I think he's the guy. Robin, promise me you're taking Beetlejuice with you, please. I'm not going to make you that promise. Oh, come on. Please, come on. Please. Please. Bring the audience. I'm considering it. I'm so what? I won't be able to figure it out. Yes, you will. I'll be behind you. He's your good luck, Sean. Hey, listen, me, all right. I took him to the baseball game on national TV. You bring him to Regis. <laughs> Hey, Howard, you know what you talked to Beetlejuice about? What? He's been uh, telling Ganji the last three or four times he's up here that um he's thinking about retiring very soon. Is that right? Get what out of here. What do you what? mean retiring? From what? How old are you? I'm about 30 years old. That's too young to retire. Why are you retiring? Tell me your thought process. I don't know. I'm an old guy. Nah, you got a lot of years. What do you mean you? retire? What are you going to do if you're not doing Hold whatever you do? Hold hey, I'm just going to go out and sit on a beach. That's what I'm going to do. You'll burn up. Now, if you interview his manager, your film career good. is just taking off. You don't want to do any more movies? No, I do more movies, but I just, no. No more parties? Yes, more parties. Hey, Peter, well, well, how, what, you, how are you going to retire then? <laughs> what, what, I think what, he just what, means he won't go, won't go on this show. <laughs> what does retirement mean? Retirement means that a lot of people retire. But what does it mean? What do you do when you retire? Me? I, I stay home with us. Right? Yeah. That's but a, you're saying you life. still take parties? Yeah. And you still, still do movies? Yeah, same time. <laughs> Will you do this show? <laughs> if I could, yeah. Oh, well, then your retirement right, is just like now. <laughs> You'd be just like Bruce Willis. <laughs> yeah. I sound like Bruce Willis. You, you look like him. You and Jackie will be retired. I could be, You do yeah. swim a little bit and uh, have hey, barbecues. We have barbecues on the beach. <laughs> it's great. The funny thing is when I spoke to uh, Beatles, just as manager. Every day, freaking barbecue. <laughs> What? The manager says, you know, he doesn't look like there's any retirement site on his end. Yeah, right. Beetlejuice, maybe you're not retired. Oh, could be. One more year. <laughs> One more year you're going to give it. Mm. Yep. I'm shocked. Is that the big announcement? Yep. That's wow. Man. That's why you came here today? What about, the, uh, what about the announcement about the Beetlemobile? Oh, I'm selling on eBay. All right, tell me about 20 that. Grand. 20 grand. Beetlejuice is selling his Beetlemobile. What is the... Be there it is right there. <laughs> you can see it on the screen. The Beetlemobile... You describe oh, this car, Beetle. What is this? Speedy juice car. Yeah, and what do you do with this? I'm selling on eBay. Yeah, and it's got a picture of you what on the hood. What kind of car is that? What is that? Yeah, that's a... What kind of car is it? Well, it's a Beetle mobile. Yeah, and it has a picture of you on the cover, on the on the on the hood. Yeah, on the hood. Right. And what is written on the side there? Oh, it's the, that's the name of my friends. My friend made the name up on it. Mm -hmm. 
They drew it. My friend drew it. Well, it looks like a great car. 20 G's. 20 G's for a car. I just don't know who makes that car. Well, well one of my friends. Does it have an engine? Uh, yeah. <laughs> it does. It actually <laughs> rides around. It, you can drive it. You want to, yeah. Howard Beetle told me he was looking to get probably about a hundred grand for it. Right. And once he gets the hundred grand, he's going to put the hundred grand on eBay. What? Well, are you? Uh, why are you going to put the hundred grand on eBay? What are you going to sell that for? Yeah. <laughs> what would you sell the hundred grand for? Sell Twenty grand. Just to get another car. That's all. I see. So oh, you, you need to... another car if you sell this. Because once you sell your car, you won't have any money. After the movie goes out, yeah. Right. Well, I'll have you know that Beetle makes over one hundred fifty thousand dollars a year. Man, really? And that's the truth. Right? It is the truth. Yeah. So, Beetle, uh, congratulations. Anyone? What do you put all that money in, Beetle? You I'll you put it in the bank. You just put it in the bank? Yeah. No stocks for you? Nope. I just put it all in the bank. Market too volatile? That's it. No. <laughs> well, you think you'd invest in real estate or something? CDs? Uh, could be. What about mutual funds? Mutual funds? I don't know about that. Yeah. Beetlejuice is selling his Beetlemobile on eBay. For more information, go to uh, Beetlejuice, uh, Beetlejuice's website, jollydwarf.com. If you want to book Beetlejuice for bachelor parties, jollydwarf.com. He is probably going to retire in a year. It's a good time to book him and get him before retirement. Uh, so you can say that you once had the legend Beetlejuice at your party. Uh, once he goes into legendary status, you won't be able to touch this guy. <laughs> once he starts making five and a half million a film, you're not going to be able to touch Forget this guy. This is a guy like Eddie Murphy who's probably just going to build a house and really very rarely come yeah. out. Beetle Hill. Yeah. Beetle Hill. Beetle Hill. <laughs> <laughs> know it. <laughs> and good luck if you go to the Bunny Ranch with Dixie Cups. That whore looks like she could really bang you. Oh, I love a banger. Right. You smacked her good, man. You smacked that ass good. Did he um, really? Yeah. yeah. Oh, he did. I got tape of it. Man. I taped you smacking that ass. Smacking yeah. that ass. Yeah, I saw it. You smacked that ass. Smacked that ass. Oh, yeah. Did she like it? Oh, she likes it. She likes it smacked. Yeah. You smacked it hard. Yeah. Did, did, did she wince? Oh, yes. She did. She couldn't handle it. She likes it. Well, she handled it. She likes well, it I hard. I like it, though. She likes you it hard. She likes to spank the women, huh? Oh, yeah. You taught Mrs. Cups a lesson. <laughs> Ms. Cups. Mm. That's right. Hold it. Regis Juice is on. <laughs> yes, Regis Juice. <laughs> Regis Juice? Yes. Beetle Juice, what weighs more, a pound of apples or a pound of feathers? Beetle, go ahead. What do you mean? Pound of apples or a pound of feathers? What weighs more? This is Regis Juice. <laughs> I weigh more, bro. I weigh Beetle over juice. 65 pounds, buddy. <laughs> Beetle Juice, if you have no chicken wings and you give me no chicken wings, how many chicken wings do you have left? How many wings you don't have left? Five or dirty? All right, Regis Juice. Yeah, how dare you? Vinny, Vinny, you're on the air. Hi, how's it going? Hey, bro. I'm just looking at the uh, the webpage on eBay, and I'm looking at Beetlejuice's car right now. It's been on uh, it's been on here for like two weeks. I think closed in six hours. There's no bids on it. It's hard to believe. It's a beautiful car. Oh yeah, yeah it's and got a 1988 on. Mercury Tracer. Yeah, and I think driving around with a big picture of Beetlejuice on your hood was bound to get you laid. <laughs> it's got 163,000 miles on it, and it's a four-cylinder. Really? Yeah, but at least it's going to go out. Uh, I'm going to buy the well, Beetlemobile I'm for a stripper. It's a 1988 but, car? But wait, you can buy it now for $70,000. Yeah, oh. in cash. And it cost me a hundred grand. How's that? Well, uh, wait, do, you, do yourself a favor, Beetle. Don't give it to a stripper. <laughs> nah, never will. All right, Beetle, thank you. Jollydwarf.com is your website. We'll all go on there. Thanks for playing the game with us uh, from, with uh, with Mike Walker.